Threat intelligence analysts are concerned about an emerging tactic known as intermittent encryption, also known as partial encryption, which started being used by several ransomware organizations. The new attack method has been observed by researchers last year in both in the wild samples and ads published to dark web cybercrime forums. In recent months, popular ransomware gangs such as Black Cat, Dark Side, and Black Basta have adopted the technique, but the first group to ever use it was the lock file strain in mid 2021. Hi, it's Antonia from Heimdall and this week I analyze the latest trend in the market when it comes to ransomware tactics, intermittent encryption. So, what's up with the new encryption method? Intermittent encryption allows the ransomware encryption malware to encrypt files partially or only encrypt small parts of them. This functionality is intended to increase attack speed, lowering the likelihood of detection and shutting down the threat. Why is this tactic so appealing to the attackers? Lately, intermittent encryption has become more popular among ransomware operators who also heavily advertise the features in order to attract clients or partners. Why? Because it's efficient. Malicious actors need to encrypt files quickly because doing so reduces the chances that they will be discovered and stopped. Encryption can be a time-consuming procedure. However, within a very short period of time, intermittent encryption causes irreversible damage. This type of encryption helps to avoid detection by interfering with the statistical analysis tools used by many ransomware security products. This look for the intense file input-output operations that part encryption helps to reduce, making it more difficult to distinguish an altered file from one that has not been affected by ransomware. Morten Gesgard, Heimdall CEO, says that intermittent encryption is an extremely dangerous attack method. It keeps CPU usage low and hence process behavior in line with system normal behavior, thus making it much harder to detect for conventional and behavior-based ransomware tools. As explained by him, by just changing small portions of the file, the attack is very similar to previous disk-based corruption attacks, where the time to objective is greatly reduced and likelihood of detection is also much lower. The evolution into this form of attack is very in line with Heimdall's previous predictions of ransomware operators getting much more creative, and we have not seen the last of this type of evolution. Safety measures. Cybersecurity vendors must keep an eye on these trends, predict where new threats may come from, and update their solutions to prevent any advantage malicious actors may gain. Also, organizations can benefit a lot from advanced anti-phishing capabilities, user education and awareness programs, threat detection and response across multiple layers or XDR, firewalls and other protections for IoT and OT environments, regular backups, including one offline copy, an automated risk-based patching program, regularly tested incident response plans. But customers must also stay alert and be proactive in their security posture. They should avoid downloading files from sketchy web pages, not open email attachments from senders who are not on their mailing list, avoid clicking any links that may be included in these emails, make sure that their antivirus is up to date, and consider deploying a ransomware encryption protection solution. Small to medium-sized businesses should also consider implementing a zero-trust model to help mitigate the impact of a ransomware incident. Key components include least privilege policies, network segmentation, multi-factor authentication, and ongoing monitoring. I know that the fight against ransomware may be extremely difficult to win, but there's plenty organizations can do to protect themselves. Make sure you check our blog to learn more about intermittent encryption and our website to see what Heimdall's ransomware encryption protection module can do for your business. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel.